Hey, Sharon here from Content Sparks, and in this video, I'm going to show you a cool little feature in Canva's Magic Studio that you can use for transforming a presentation or document or any other design in Canva into a video. So, for example, we have this pack of materials called the Essential Marketing Strategy Pack, which has, among other things, a workbook and checklist and snapshot for creating an essential marketing strategy. So I just show an image here of scrolling through it. And one of the, among other things in this pack, there are some social media images that, uh, here's a preview of them, and those are all in Canva. So you might wanna create a video from there. So if I head over to the folder materials you would get with that course, or it's actually a, a more of a lead magnet funnel, uh, there would be some social media images. These are just all the different folders you get. And I'm gonna open up that file, and then there's a link to click on Canva where you'd get your template. You'll get something like this, and you'd say use template. And just so you see, the home page on Canva for the Magic Studio is here, but once you open the design, you'll see some of the other features for transforming images or presentations and documents that you have. But there's, a, there's some information in here and anytime you wanna check it out more, there's a whole center in the help center where you can find technical support and tutorials. But I'm gonna go over to that image file and first you'd make any changes you want. So for example, on the first slide, you might want to put your URL, you might want to do that on every slide. So here I might say contentsparks.com slash, let's say no, like, trust, just because that's one of the courses that we also have on how to get your audience to know, like, and trust you. And so that first one, I might also want to add a box to make that stand out. So say I want to make this text a different color, I'd click on it and go up to the top where there's that text color box and change it, say, to my brand colors. The, a lot of this stuff is only in the pro version of Canva. So if you don't have that, you would probably have to get it. But they're, they're changing all the time. So by the time you watch this video, who knows, there could be other features as well, or it could look slightly different. But in general, it's pretty intuitive with Canva. So I might want to do that for the first slide. Uh, I can tell what I'm highlighting or moving because it'll highlight there. All right. And then you might want to make other changes. You might not want to have the URL on your other slides, but just bring the text down and make it bigger, things like that. So you go through, make any changes you want. I'll just do one more to show you. I think there's about 20 or so in here. And then when you're all done, go back up to the top, just click on any area here, just so that you're not inside one slide and go up to the very top left for where it says magic switch. So I'm going to click on that. It may not even say new any longer when you look at it and there may be other options, but I'm going to go down to videos because I want to make this into a video and it'll give you some different sizes. Um, depending on where you want to put it, you might want to do a different size. This is already 800 by 800, so if I changed that into a video, it would, wouldn't change anything, but it will also change the size of it if you need. So say I want to do it as um, an Instagram reel. It's probably a little long for that, but that's a different size, so it's going to resize it as it goes. So I'm going to click Continue it will give me a little preview of what it's gonna look like. I can hover my, my mouse over it to see and it'll scroll through. And I'm gonna copy and resize. I don't wanna overwrite this, I want a new copy. So I'm gonna copy and resize and then I'm gonna open the mobile video. So that didn't take long at all and I'm recording at the same time. And it just did it really instantly. And you'll see it is now a video. So you can set the timing. Since there's a lot of text on these, I might set the time to six seconds instead of five. It usually defaults to five. 
Um, if it's something where you just want to zip through some pages, like a preview of a product, we tried that and it worked really well, then you'd make it faster and you might want to download it as a GIF instead of a video. But here I've done it as a video. I can test it out by playing the play button at the bottom or at the upper right and it says how long it is. And this is just on its own. It's going to start going through each slide with six seconds per slide. So you have a video like that now. It's a video, not a slide, but you can edit each part of it. So I could still go in and edit any of these elements and it's all as a video. But another thing I can do is add music to it. So since I'm not talking over this, I would go over to the left and I have it showing already as audio, but if it, you're, anything isn't showing, you click on apps and it'll have this more from Canva like backgrounds and stuff. So you would click on audio. A lot of different things come up. Say I want something inspirational and instrument because I don't want any voice. So it'll come up with a bunch of different things. Um, inspirational, instrumental, I guess is the usual thing. And you can preview any of these. So say there's one. <laughs> I'd probably pick one that has the right kind of length, but I'll show you something else for syncing that in a minute. Um, most of these are, if all of them actually are pro, they have this little crown next to them. So if you're not a pro member of Canva, you'd have to pay for it to get the rights, but I'm already a pro member, so I can use it. So I'd click on that to add it. It's gonna add it right at the bottom here. So at the very bottom, you can see there's now an audio track. So I can preview it initially just by pressing play. It up slowly. Now I have music in the background. And then it gives me a little tip to skim your video, grab and move the pointer. Okay, got that. It will also do something called beat sync if you want to make sure everything syncs up with your slides. Uh, we can try that in a second. Audio effects, you'd probably want it to fade in and out. So maybe a three second fade in, a three second fade out. Particularly on the fading out is important because depending on how, where the music is gonna cut off, it might just be very abrupt at the end and you don't want that to be the case. So make sure you have the fade out and then I'm not actually going to do any fade in on this one because there's a lot of quiet in the beginning. You can adjust the volume. So you have to get your mouse right on that colored track to get it to go back to adjust. Let's go over to the speaker. That's the volume. So I could make it a little bit less than 100%. If you think it's a little too loud, just drag it down. And then this beat sync. Make sure again that you're highlighted on it. The beat sync is supposed to sync up everything. And it says sync now, your pages and elements will be automatically timed to the music and display beat markers. So I'm gonna try that out. Everything's synced. It's one minute and 24 seconds, which may be too fast. So we may have to turn that off. So let's give it a try. I'll try just at the beginning initially. And let's make sure that it's fading at the end. So that's looking pretty good. I'll just put my cursor at the last slide. Whoops, I actually inserted a slide by mistake. So it looks like you can actually insert things. So I'm going to delete that and just get my pointer there. Actually, I could just click on that slide and that'll get me there also. And then let's play and see whether it's fading. Out. And perfect, it's all set. So play with it however you want. You can insert slides, in which case that beat sync will turn off. And then when you're all done, you go up to share and you want to download 
and then you'll see there's the option for mp4 video and you're just going to click download and you'll have that video all ready to post in the size of an Instagram reel. And then you could resize this as well into another different size if you wanted. So I could go into videos and maybe this time make it into just a regular mobile video or a Facebook video. It, you'll have to play with that and see how that works out. But say I click continue, it'll be different depending on what you have in your video, of course. And I'm going to copy and resize again so I have this in another size. Click open Facebook video. And what's nice here is not only does it have everything that I had before, but it should have the music too. Yep, so once you have a video, it doesn't even matter if you haven't created it from images, you can resize it as well and you'll be all set to share that. Now, the other thing I mentioned was you could do this to create a GIF, like a, a preview. So for example, I showed you up here on the sales page for this marketing strategy pack. In here, what we did is just scroll through using a screen recording software, and then we converted that to a GIF. So this is not a video, it's a GIF. So it'll just scroll through on its own. But I can also go through and make that a video from right inside Canva. So let's see. Say I have my essential marketing strategy pack. So this is that one that I was telling you about on the page here that we're selling. And I'm going to go back in and you can see that when we just kind of recorded the screen to go through it, but instead I could make this into a little video that goes through really quickly. So I'll click on magic switch and I'm going to make it a video and say, I want it to be a Facebook video size, which is square. So it's going to change the sizing, but why not? So let's see what happens. And again, you want to make sure you do a copy of it that you don't work on the one that you have open. I would normally just make a copy of this immediately. So I'm going to copy and resize. And even though this is like, I don't know, 70 pages or something, it was really quick. So it's opened it up and I now have a video of that planner or that pack that we've done with the checklist and everything else in a Facebook size with a workbook and everything else. And what I'd want to do is go up to the beginning of it, to the very first page. Now in this case, it has a initial directions page, which I would probably leave on it. And I want to change the timing of this page. Everything remember is default five seconds. So in this case, I would want to change it to maybe one second so it goes through faster. So now it will be, whoops, I want it one second and I want to apply it to all pages, which is still going to make this a minute and 19. So it's still not that fast or that slow, but it should be good enough. And then let's just do a quick test. So it's going to flip through relatively quickly and that can be your preview. You can save that as a video or you can download it as a GIF. So when you go into share and download, you click the drop down here and you can just click pick GIF and it'll download it into something like what I showed on the sales page there, which is here. This is a GIF that doesn't play. So that is just one feature in Magic Studio, the converting a slideshow or a set of images to a video and adding music, or even just converting the size of a video or creating a GIF to do a, a preview of a product. So I hope that was helpful. Take care.